We are given the function f that maps the set with elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 to the set with elements a, b, c, d, e, and f. And we're asked how many total functions are there and how many are bijective. Notice below I've set the function up using two-line notation where we have the inputs or elements from the domain in the first row. In the second row, we will have the outputs or the elements in the range, which must come from the elements in the codomain which again is a set with elements A, B, C, D, E, and F. Notice how there are six possible outputs, which means if there are no restrictions, there are six possible outputs for each of the six inputs, and therefore, by the multiplicative principle, there are six times six times six times six times six times six possible functions which gives us six to the sixth, which is equal to 46,656. There are a total of 46,656 possible functions. And now let's determine how many are bijective. Remember that a bijective function is injective and surjective, which means each element in the codomain must be an image of exactly one element of the domain. In order for a function to be bijective, the number of elements in the domain and codomain must be the same. Notice in this case, both sets do contain six elements. There's a couple ways to approach this. Let's first use the multiplicative principle, where for the first input, there are six possible outputs. But then, but then because bijective functions do not have repeated elements and do not miss elements from the codomain in the range, there are only five possible outputs for the second input followed by four possible outputs for the third input, three for the fourth, two for the fifth, and one for the sixth. Notice how no element in the codomain is repeated and no element from the codomain is missed in the range. Notice how the number of bijective functions is equal to six factorial. A second approach would be to use a permutation, where remember for a permutation, no item is used more than once and the order of the arrangement does matter which means the number of bijective functions is also equal to the permutation of six items selected six at a time, or six permute six. If we apply the permutation formula, n permute k is equal to n factorial divided by n minus k factorial, six permute six is equal to six factorial divided by six minus six factorial which is equal to six factorial divided by zero factorial, but zero factorial is equal to one. So whichever method we take, notice how we do get six factorial. And six factorial is equal to 720. There are 720 bijective functions. I hope you found this helpful.